Ladies uh, Your Excellency, I am pleased to meet and welcome all of you. You are distinguished members of uh, the Parliament of Finland and uh, your Council General and uh, Council General colleagues, all of you. Uh, and uh, I met him about a week back or 10 days. Uh, so we met and we discussed uh, that uh, we should cooperate in the educational, uh, healthcare and uh, other uh, field that we have discussed on that day. We all know that uh, the Finnish uh, education system is one of the best in the world. So we want to, your uh, educational expertise uh, to be uh, passed on to India also. That is our vision, we want to work together. And uh, luckily, we are already having a very good uh, relationship. We need not worry about anything. We have to build up the indo finest uh, relationship. Uh, that is the one good part of uh, our relationship. So there are so many countries where you have to do the great work, then you have to build. Yeah, the base is already there. Good relationship is there. And we have to build it and uh, this year is the 75th year that we have established the diplomatic relationship with Finland. And the logo has also been unveiled by our external affairs minister and you were foreign minister during the latter's visit to Delhi for the Paisina Dialogue 2024. So our uh, uh, bilateral trade uh, is also improving a lot. It is already crossing 3 billion US dollars. And uh, so many companies of uh, Finnish companies are uh, doing very well in India. Uh, Nokia, Kony, Metso, Autotech, uh, Watsila, UPM, Landstorm, Portum, Storm and uh, Elcotech. So many companies are doing very well. And uh, I am sure we will be doing uh, further more. And uh, in the Indian side, the IT companies like TCS, Wipro, LNT, Infosys, HCL, and Magendra Group are uh, doing very well. Uh, and uh, ICT into hospitality and agricultural machinery and health of their diversity. That is very, very interesting. And uh, our bilateral trade has uh, improved uh, after uh, uh, the interaction between the Prime Ministers of our two countries and in the margins of EU Nordic Summit in May 2022, following the virtual summit in March 2021. The Finland has been a regular participant in the Raisina dialogue and this year the Foreign Minister of Finland represented the Finland and Raisina. That is the source. The concern from both sides is always a, any good relationship is always a two, two way that is happening and, uh, and uh, your visit uh, I personally feel uh, that will make another milestone because the members of parliament Distinct to a country that is the very very important. I was a member of uh, so many parliamentary committees, and we I, we are the first parliamentary committee member I was uh, to into Taiwan, and that uh, opens up uh, so much uh, with the Taiwan today. So this uh, bilateral discussion is always important. That I am really thankful to you for coming over here and uh, exchanging your views with us and we are sure your visit is very very important and it will make uh, another landmark uh, in the Finland in your relationship and trade and I know that we all are uh, tightly engaged moving from one place to the other in spite of that, uh, you have come and uh, our university vice chancellors and my colleagues are also sharing their views with you and uh, I am sure your universities are so independent uh, from uh, your consulate general's uh, speech, I understand that you have given so much of freedom to them that they can enter and you are asking our universities to contact directly but uh, still 
we are not that liberalized here. And, uh, but I am sure uh, I am delegating all my powers as the Chancellor of the University. They should take all initiatives. I am just binding them with the universities. Yes, with uh, this type of wonderful uh, visit, uh, I believe definitely we, are, we will march forward in the education side and healthcare and the other uh, important uh, new technologies which are going to come up in the energy sector and uh, we will work together. And uh, as you said, uh, uh, Maharashtra is the uh, most wealthiest state among all the Indian states and our uh, uh, GDP is the highest uh, in the country. And uh, we are having a wonderful workforce, manpower, plus land, water. So Maharashtra, the understanding of Maharashtra will help fair better extent in going for China and Chesia. So I am looking forward that uh, this to makes a big change in our attitude towards each other. Thank you.